Hi there, this is Sherry Forsyth from Sherry Forsyth Coaching and I'm speaking to you today about how values helped me when we had the devastating loss of our younger daughter, Kerry. So if we live a life that is value-based, in other words, we know what our values are uh, and there are many tests you can do to find out what your top values are, um, Tony Robbins's test being one that springs to mind. Once we know what our top values are, we can use those values to act as a scaffolding around us and around our lives to keep us strong. So the way it works is if I have a decision that I need to make and uh, I make it according to my values, it is likely to be a strong decision. It's likely to be one that sits well with me. If we live our life and make our decisions according to our values, then that will also be in alignment with our life purpose. So we have our life purpose at the top, then we have our values, and if we live in alignment with our values, all our decisions and the way we live our life, it will all be in alignment and that will make us very strong, which I refer to as that steel inner core of who we are. Now if we don't have that steel inner core, what will happen is when hardships come our way, we likely just to just be blown over because we haven't got the scaffolding. We haven't got the support. So the way values helped me after the loss of our younger daughter um, was there are a few examples I can give you. So one of my values is uh, a very broad and all encompassing spirituality. And so in the loss of our daughter, I can't say that I wasn't knocked off my feet. I absolutely was. That scaffolding was kind of very, very weak and shaky. And I battled for a long time. But what helped me regain my equilibrium was the fact that I had the value of spirituality. So I could harness that to help me make sense of the loss comfort me in the fact that I do believe in life after death and embrace the, the principles of gratitude, of love, um, of positivity that are all part of, in my opinion, a part of spirituality. So the value of spirituality gave me the scaffolding that supported and built that steel inner core of strength. And it enabled me to weather the storm of the loss of our daughter. And you can do the same with any storm that comes your way. If you do have strong values and you live your values, I'm not saying that the storms won't come because they will, but when they do come, you'll be able to face them with a strong scaffolding, with that strong inner core of who you are. So let me give you another example. Let's say that you are having difficulties in your relationship, but one of your values is marriage and the sacredness of marriage. What you will do is you will find a way to work around your hardships. You'll find a way to uh, discover how to reconnect. And hopefully you'll find a way where you can save your marriage and your relationship because your value is to have a strong relationship, to have a strong marriage. Whereas if you don't have that value and you are suffering difficulty in your relationship, it'll be much easier for you just to let it go. So that is how having strong values, living strong values can affect you on a day-to-day -day basis, the decisions you make and how you live your life. I hope that you found this video of value and as always I would love to hear, hear any comments you might have on what, uh, what I've been saying and uh, as always also I thank you so much for the time that you've given me in listening to this video.